What does it feel like to make history? I mean, we were all a part of history, so it's pretty yeah. incredible. Unbelievable, um, incredible. Yeah. It, was, uh, it, was, it was something special. I think it's a, a moment that we'll all cherish. Winning, what does it mean to you? It means everything. Um, I came to this game, wanted to do anything and everything I could to ensure that Big Brother season 23 would be, membered, would be remembered as crowning the first black winner in BBUS history. Um, fortunately, that was me, but if it was Tiffany, if it was Hannah, Kai, Big D, or Aza, I would have been just as happy. I know my family's a little more happy that I did, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it, it means everything. The season was about representation and um, the season was also about a brotherhood that we started on day one and it worked all the way through until day 85. Yeah. And um, we played the game well. I wouldn't have won this game without everyone sitting beside me. And um, I never want to lose sight of that. So I'm indebted to all of them. First of all, can we solve the, the riddle? Who really came up with the idea of the Talk cookout? to them too. <laughs> Talk to them too. Who really? This is between y'all. Well, well, Come on. He, Derek F. definitely came around to all of us on day one. Um, we all saw each other and knew. I definitely looked at everyone and was like, okay, well, I cannot target these people. I'm not going to be the one to do it. But Derek did come around to each of us and say, hey, you know we're working together, right? So we all worked together. And I believe Xavier was the one that came up with the name The Cookout. I'll take that. True. I'll take that credit. Yeah. True. So yeah. then, Trademark. <laughs> oh, I, I had thought <clears throat> it was Big D and Xavier because those were who came up to me. Um, and I knew that Xavier came up with the name and Big D did um, come around and talk to everyone. So, um, but it was a mission that we all did feel in the bottom of our hearts when we came to the house, but it was brought to fruition. You know, I don't think a lot of people understand that you walk in a room and you see other black and brown folks and you just kind of like look at each other and you're like, okay, <laughs> I got, was that what happened? That's, yes, that's yeah. exactly yeah. what happened. Like, you, know, yeah. you, you make the it's eye like, contact, yeah. you just do one of these. It's like, oh, no, it's another one. What's oh, up? Yeah. And yeah. another one, well, yeah. there's six of us. Yeah. I literally like walked up to Xavier and he was just like, you already know. I was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was it, that was, it. That was the whole yeah. thing. I, I would say that the celebration this year was different than any other year because everybody was happy. There weren't, you know, normally there's some bitterness. There's somebody standing on the side like, if I could go and stab him right now. I would. <laughs> but there was a happiness. And did you feel that from all the contestants about Xavier's win, but also about the cookout? Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Definitely. yeah. yeah. Yes. I think even though Xavier was the grand prize winner, all six of us, especially with the cookout, were winners. Day 65, when we were all there and it was the six of us and our mission was accomplished, that was the win for all of us, regardless of who won the grand prize, although it would have been nice. But <laughs> <laughs> we all felt like winners in that moment. I think that we understand the reason and other people have stepped up to refute this, but there have been a lot of articles and comments saying that the cookout was reverse racism. What would you say? Aja, I'm going to ask you. What would you say about um, that? Well, the first thing I'm going to say is um, reverse racism does not exist. It's literally impossible to happen. Um, the second thing I'm going to say is if people do feel bad, I would like them to ask those questions to the jurors who met us with nothing but love uh, when we all met them and um, at the final time in jury. Um, we all came here with what we said was a mission. Um, it wasn't based off of, okay, you're black, get out. No, it was based off of we would like to achieve an African-American winner to be achieved in history. And um, the fact that it resonated with so many people beyond color, creed, origin, and everything just speaks to show that this wasn't a season about setting a division. It was a season about showing the powerfulness of unity and what can happen when we all work together. Beautiful. There have also mm -hmm. been 22 seasons of alliances. Then. Exactly. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, I mean, exactly. to simplify it, we could simply say we were in alliance. Now, granted, the reason that brought us together transcended the game, but when you're in an alliance in the Big Brother house, your goal is to get out every other person who's not in that alliance. And that was what we did. Just for the record, by a unanimous vote, can you see it? Xavier, Xavier, Xavier. You want, you got all nine oh. votes, Xavier. <laughs> all right. Okay. Were you surprised by the jury vote, D? Um, no, I didn't sign up to that. I wasn't signing up for that. No. I knew Xavier deserved to win. Mm -hmm. I just felt like, hey, I'm just trying to get second place, man. That's all. <laughs> but I was not surprised because, um, you know, I never got a chance to really say what I did. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there in jury to talk to everyone. So I, you know, I had a, a minute and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna say everything. Um, also, because the cookout did not have meetings, we did not have group meetings and be like, hey, I'm doing this, this is what I'm doing, this is what you're doing. Because we knew we all couldn't get together. So we were working in twos and threes and whispering down the lane and playing telephone. So um, I think it was just 
one of those things where, hey, I wasn't, I wasn't surprised. I knew Xavier won. If I had a key, I would have turned it for him too. <laughs> I wasn't like there. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, man, I would have turned the key for him. He definitely. I'm gonna tell y'all now. Run and get that copyright. Get that copyright because it's. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I can get some documents together. Everyone will want to come to the cookout after this. Yes. How are you going to manage? Who gets membership in the cookout? Or I don't cook. I was a cooking. I was a cooking. I was a cooking. I have nothing. I no, I cook. I cook I simple meals. Remember that. Sure. Yeah, you got your boiled burgers. Yes, I cook so simple meals. Chop vegetables. Chop vegetables and do dishes. And do dishes. Yes. She washes. Dishes. I dry. I yes. will support emotionally. Yeah, yes, that's you all you never got. helped out. Never of helped out. He's never. never helped this ain't about me. No, he this never. Ain't about it's about, about us. No, it's about, about us. You know. The cookout is all of us. No, hey, Ozzy, he did, did lots, lots of yes. dishwashing. Yes. For yes. Yes. Ozzy was at times. the the cook of the century. Yes. I wanted to try to keep up with her, but it was impossible. He literally did. How did you win? What did you do? I kept you from tearing him apart. I kept him from getting her. All that. That was me. That was here. I thought a cookout needs a security. I was never involved in this drama. I just feel like I got slighted. <laughs> a great mastermind moves and slides in between all groups and yeah, handles things, and that's what he did. Uh, I think Tiffany had, had her own hand being the mastermind this season. And I want to make sure credit is given. Yes. Too. Yes. No, she played the game. Amazing. Oh, absolutely. Amazing. I think absolutely. a lot of people were surprised and thought she was going to make it through the end. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but Kylan had a different plan, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he oh, did. Interesting. <laughs> What just happened with you? all issues with Kylan? Yes. Yes. All issues with Kylan. I'm sorry. I just, sorry. Sorry. I just exactly. want to say for the future, when it comes to Alliance, sit down and say what you did. So you never had to worry about this. Because mm -hmm. when we worked in that secret code, it was like, or oh, I did this, but I don't know you did that. And it was pretty difficult to say who did what. And only certain people knew things. So um, make sure you sit down and actually say, this is what I did. But that can be a, that can put a target on you, too. You don't really want to say what you did. Because when you said you created the master plan, I was like, see, I am not a threat. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, I, and in my head, I was like, I was like, come on, you Tiffany can take Tiffany came to my room two. with the chessboard no, and said, here no, we go. Yeah, no, I was like, no, oh, no. but Big D, OK, I'm going to let y'all. And yeah. I'm going to just sit here. And I was like, I didn't do anything, so I'm not a threat. I nope. was like this. Let, and then, you know, Tiffany's like, this is the plan. And then I was like, well, you know, and Oz was trying to get in and say something. And I was like, nope, let Tiffany, let Tiffany come with the plan and let's just go with it. So let me ask you this. For future people of color, especially, that come into the house, what's your advice? What's your advice? We knew we always Right, so what's the advice? I don't have any advice. Play an individual game. No, you cook. You cook, you play, you entertain. Yes. If you are on an island, stay on that island. Yes, stay on that island. Throw all competitions. You are not threats. And get you a partner. Yes. Get you a duo. A buddy. Never be in the same room with someone that looks like you. The buddy system. The buddy System. The buddy Get system, you. yes. Overall, y'all in trouble. Yes. Just, the cookout is ordered. You only have one cookout. Yeah, it only happens like once. Yeah. Sorry. One time. Uh -uh. And never be in a room with someone that look like you. You yeah. say, oh, there's two of us. Yeah. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go. go. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. No more than two in a room at a time. London, <laughs> if you can. <laughs> I love that. Walking by like, oh, nope, two, one, two, yep, too many. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs>